Welcome to this episode of Meet the Pros. In season two, as you've probably already noticed, we've been trying to understand a little bit more about why people actually invest in whiskey and naturally enjoy a few more interesting cocktail bars and restaurants. Today, we're in Edinburgh, literally a stone's throw from the Johnny Walker Princess Street experience at Uskave. Come on inside. But before we do, remember, this season we're playing Wabble, Whiskey Scrabble. Now at some point during this episode, an anagram will appear on the screen. That anagram is going to be a distillery name all mixed up. In order to win a bottle from that distillery, you've got to do three things. The first is leave a comment below. Now, leave a comment below but it cannot be the name of that distillery. Then email competitions at hexton's.com with the right name of that distillery and the code that will pop up on the screen at a random point during this video. Best of luck. Caroline. Hi, Chris. <laughs> good to see you. And you. How are you? How was your trip? Very good, thank you very much. Brilliant. Well, it's great to have you here this afternoon. We're going to have a, an interesting time with some treats later. Looking Just before we do, remind me how long you've been in the spirits industry. More years than I probably care to remember. <laughs> the last time I checked, it was probably 40 years. Okay. With a, a slight lean towards the wine side of things. More wine than spirits. I, wine has always been my great passion. Spirits has been an interest. It's not something that I drink a lot of, but I appreciate the nuances and the individuality mm. of it. Okay, so we'll, I think we'll have some fun then finding a neat whiskey or a cocktail this afternoon that you'll enjoy. Please. But you're certainly someone who appreciates what goes into a good whiskey. Fantastic. Well, you've already seen how interesting a bar this is. Let's meet our host for the afternoon, Stephen. Stephen. Hi, Chris. Good to see you. Hi, Thanks Hi, for coming Hi. in. Hello. Hi. Stephen, this is a, an interesting looking bar. Tell me a little, about, a little bit about it and obviously yourself. Yeah, sure. Uh, so the bar is called Ushkabe. Mm -hmm. uh, what, one more time. Ushkabe. 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 So the first recording of the word whiskey was Aquavite, which was 1494 by uh, Friar John Corr, eight balls of barley for the king. But go to 1791 and it is Robert Burns with the poem Tam O'Shanter who mentions Ushkabe. And the quote is, with Tippany, we fear no evil. With Ushkabe, we take on the devil. So ah. Tippany, beer. With beer, we fear no evil. But with whiskey, we can take on the devil himself. So we can do anything. So that's where Ushkabe <laughs> takes its name from. Yeah. So Ushkabe it is a subterranean bar. We're underneath the newly refurbished West End Brasserie that was formerly Ryan's Bar, uh, a bar on the corner of Hope Street and uh, Queensbury Street in the West End of Edinburgh uh, for 30 years. Ushkabe itself uh, opened up in 2015, very quickly established a reputation as one of the best whiskey bars uh, in the city, if not in Scotland itself. Yeah. Well, before we enjoy something together, I, I thought I'd ask if you could show us around a few of the features in this bar, Absolutely. because it's visually very impressive, but there's also some quite interesting bottles. Would you mind? Yep, yeah, take you around. Excellent. Okay. So see, we have the bar itself, single bar, uh, with currently over 460 bottles of Scotch whiskey. 460? 460. And our newly installed Solera cast system. Uh, so that is a cast system uh, comprising of five, uh, sorry, four or five litre casks uh, that will be maturing our own whiskey on the bar to serve and sell. Um, our share table here, this is really the heart of the bar. Uh, so this is where we gather groups together for whiskey tastings, for the training of our staff who work very closely with leading whiskey brands. And yeah, just, just the, the centerpiece of the bar. Uh, we have our old and rare selection here in the cabinet. Roughly about 40 bottles in here, but uh, we have whiskies uh, from as early as 1936 in here. Several closed down distilleries uh, from, say, Colburn Distillery in Speyside, which uh, is now shut and uh, is the head offices of the likes of Murray McDavid yeah. and uh, ACO. Uh, store a lot of their casks there which ties Absolutely. in with the uh, the whiskey brokers a lot uh dallas do ling lifko which was uh otherwise known as saint magdalene's uh little mill one of my favorite whiskies uh that's another closed down distillery from 1995 so some really really interesting show-stopping whiskies uh, yeah. as it were 
and then you can see um, we have several different alcoves that work as private drinking or dining spaces um, of various different sizes and this just offers really nice intimate spaces for people to sit and enjoy Absolutely. and relax and, and have some whiskey. Or Presumably a, with, with the alcoves it's quite a nice place for people to be able to come off of Prince's Street busy, bustling, probably tired from a little bit of shopping and maybe want to enjoy something after the Johnny Walker experience? Yeah, we're very much a, an afternoon, evening venue, so this uh, offers that kind of more relaxed, quiet place to, to sit and enjoy and have a bit of a private conversation. This, this is a room we've got to talk about. Yeah, this is a stunning wee alcove. So I think the original idea for this when it opened in 2015 was to have it as a bottle keep, but uh, right now we're just using it to showcase various ones of our whiskies. Uh, Ushka Bay is part of its strategy is to do a, a monthly takeover, working in collaboration with whiskey brands that takes the focus of cocktails, beer pairings, food pairings, but then a, a focus on a, a certain range of whiskies. So just now we've got the Diageo special releases in there, but we're working with the likes of Glen Grant, Douglas Lang, um, Edrington, various other folk. Well, these are fantastic. And, I, and I, you know, I know it's silly to get wrapped up in this, but the illustrations and the, 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 the presentation boxes of some of these whiskies are tremendous. Yeah, they kind of uh, they work as a bit of decoration for the venue in and of itself. Uh, just really colourful, lovely illustrations uh, that bring to life uh, some sort of fable or story that ties in with each one of the uh, single malt releases. Well, I'm going to hold my judgment until Caroline and I have enjoyed our whiskey or cocktail. Yep. But I've been to a few bars in Edinburgh, probably too many. <laughs> and this is, if it's not the best, it's definitely up there. But it's probably time for a... a well, let the, let the cocktail do the talking, let's see. <laughs> okay. Caroline, Chris, this is Julian, our bar manager. Hi, Julian. Nice to meet you. Julian, good to see you again. So, Julian, I think you're going to help us enjoy a few cocktails. We have quite different tastes. If Very you could try and accommodate those, that'd be brilliant. But I think you're certainly going to be able yep. to do so. I have two on the line. Uh, something with that, Greg. I think something tea, something uh, spicy, herby. It's going to be Great. nice. You like smoky whiskey? Um, do you know what I do? So, so Caroline usually, as far as I know, likes things with a big aroma, a big smell, put simply. I'm used to using my nose when I'm doing wine tastings mm. or whatever. So for me, the sense of smell is very important. Sure. Yeah, this is something really nice. It's going to be some ginger as well. So um, I, I think you guys, you're going to love them. Really? Yeah, should I make them for you? Please. Let's see. Have a go. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you very You're much. Welcome, guys. Enjoy it. Oh, excellent. Delicious. It well, really is lovely. They smell fantastic. Thanks for those, Julia. I'm sure any minute now we're going to be back for a second. Oh, I'll get ready. <laughs> but in the meantime, let's enjoy these in one of the alcoves. Sounds good to me. Caroline, we've got our drinks. I think we're both quite happy with them. Very nice. Mm. I have to say, although I enjoy mine, you've lucked out. Yours is definitely better. <laughs> Selection, what more do you want? But, but they're both good and they're both very creative. But when it comes to actually investing in whiskey, what, what initially caught your eye? I think it was the fact that because I work in the industry, or I have worked in the industry for a long time, I actually understand a little bit about it. I may not drink whiskey, mm. but I do actually understand the the the, um, the process. industry, the mm. process. I, I, you know, like the the ethos behind mm. it a lot of the time. It was easy to do, um, and it's tax free. <laughs> what more do you want? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's it, it, it's certainly. I mean, I always say it's not a reason to do it. It's a nice bonus in, in today's world, who knows where capital gains tax is going. Um, I, I'm certainly not in a position to guess, but I would assume it's up in one way or another. But with a, a finite product that's got a shelf life, 
it can be a, 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 a sort of misunderstanding that it's complicated. It, it was quite straightforward to understand. Oh, very much so. And, you know, the, the whole thing was, was managed smoothly, efficiently. Mm -hmm. um, we even had the compliance clause. As in, and the, a lovely man who said to me before, you know, have you been under any duress? <laughs> have you done this? Are you selling your yeah. home? Are you putting your your um, future mm -hmm. in, in jeopardy by doing it? Mm -hmm. So the whole time it was very, very responsible mm -hmm. because they were making sure that I wasn't going out and borrowing money in yeah. order to finance it because you can get to the stage where you get a little bit carried away and you think, oh, I'd like another cask and mm -hmm. I'd like another bit of it. And the, the whole time, everybody was making sure that I wasn't putting myself, my savings or anything in jeopardy mm -hmm. in any way, shape or form. And it's much more exciting than stocks and shares. <laughs> so Certainly when you can, uh, you can enjoy a drop, but it, it's a good point, RE, the, the safety and the security, it has unfortunately been an industry where in the last five or six years there have been the scammers, there have been the, the scumbags and the people who don't do this safely. Um, I, I really don't want to put words in your mouth, but have you felt comfortable during the process? No problem. I mean, I did do my, my research on Haxton's, there's no doubt about it. I'm not going to part with you know, a reasonable amount of money and not yes. do so. But I've had nothing but praise for how everything has been handled. Everything's been very efficient. You've come through with, you know, you yourself have sort of said to me, well, we've got this whiskey or that whiskey, or what do you think about this? And it's great because I have a varied portfolio, um, which, and I also understand that it's going to need a good five years hmm. to actually see a return on it but then that's the same with stocks and shares if you buy an ISA you you know you're not going to see it perform not going to win overnight no. I mean that's for, for a lot of people that's actually something that's a bit boring about it but for a lot of other people who have varied portfolios where part, part of them are exciting and fast-paced and short-term exactly. this is a bit of a foil to that yes it is hmm. and when you've got the three three basic commodities that mm. make whiskey. It's just how you use them, which isn't so dissimilar from wine mm. in the fact that there is the intervention of a, a master blender yeah. or someone that understands wood, how things mature, etc, etc. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there, there is a crossover there. Mm. So even if you don't understand whiskey, but like wine or like whiskey, but don't understand wine, there, mm -hmm. there is a crossover somewhere along the line. Well, we're, we're what, 100 metres away now from the Johnny Walker experience on Princess Street. Um, we haven't been there together. We've been on, on previous client trips, but in that building, there are some real experts and experts who are so good at explaining why things are the way they are, engaging you and, and helping you learn more. So if ever anyone has the chance to go there in the future, I definitely recommend it. But it's the old girl story. The more you understand about something, the more you appreciate it. Mm. You know, if you understand why somebody does something mm. and why it's matured for as long as it actually is, and why does it need to spend that much time yeah. in cask, and why if you actually then have um, the double maturation where mm. you have it finished in another cask, what effect does it have and why does it do? Well, the, I think the, the best example of that was yesterday, if you remember, at Blair Athol, which was a great trip. The one thing I can't forget and never will is when we were looking at those casks in their bonded facility and there had been a hogshead there since 1965. And although we were explaining what the angel share does where the evaporation occurs, um, one, one of our group asked, well, if that's been around since 1965, wh what is that thing worth? And, and how much is left in it? Well, how much is left in it, which was, you know, uh, half of what was in there, if not slightly less than when it started. Our tour guide said seven figures. And half of us said, yes. well, seven figures for a cask. And he was like, yeah, because it's been there since 1965. It's incredible. And then somebody said to me at the side of me, I 
think we'll have to ask Chris to start swapping our, our whiskey <laughs> casks around. But then anything that's decent isn't going to, is it? Exactly. Anything, any get rich quick scheme is normally, yeah. if it's too good to be true, it is. It is. I, I think I, I describe this market as a become slightly more wealthy over a long period scheme. <laughs> But it's, it's not fun, fun. but it's fun to have it. You've yeah. got something that is, I mean, I'm dying to go and cuddle one of my cars <laughs> and sort of find it and go, oh, that's my car. Yeah. But, you know. Well, we can drink our bottles from our casks and we can do our distillery tours, but for the time being, I think we'll, we'll enjoy these cocktails. Sounds very good to me. Cheers. Cheers. Stephen, thanks so much. Pleasure. Thanks, Chris. Thank you for we'll, coming along and seeing us. We'll definitely be back.